Church time. Oh God. Hey, Cooper. Hello, Father. Greetings, my child. I'm glad you decided to come here. Yeah, but just so you know, I'm not here to join your church or anything. Oh, I would never assume that. Good. So, with that out of the way, I have some questions. Anything you need. I'm Isaac Price. Kathy. Kathy Rain, but I'm guessing you figured that out already. I did. Rumors spread quickly around here. So, how can I be of service? Alrighty then. I could, but I think I have more to gain from a subtle strategy. Oh, okay. I'll keep it to myself for now, until I know more about this church. Well, fine. Fuck you. Care to tell me the history of the church? I'd be happy to. The story is a fascinating one. This church was founded by my father, William T. Price, in the 70s. Back then, he made his living as a traveling salesman and was driving through this area, as he'd done so many times before. However, this day was different. My father held dark thoughts in his mind. He was angry, thinking of evil deeds, even considering swerving off the road into a rock and ending it all. Wow. Then suddenly, divine intervention. Three bright lights appeared. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The sign mm -hmm. of God. This epiphany was the moment my father had been waiting for. It's their logo. He sold all of his belongings and took me and my brother to live with him here in Conwell Springs. Soon thereafter, he built this church and started gathering followers. They began to refer to him as Father Bill. I take it that window up there resembles what he saw when he had this epiphany? Indeed. The stained glass window depicts the Holy Trinity as witnessed by my father. Do you know exactly when or where this event took place? Why do you ask? Oh, just curious. It's a captivating story. Well, it was in the spring of 1971, but my father never told hmm. anyone where. Okay, so what happened then? 71. People flocked to Father Bill. He started teaching, writing scripture. The church flourished and continued to grow all the way up until his sudden death in 1983. That's when I stepped in to take leadership of the church. I take it that the church started declining after the death of Father Bill? Uh, yes. Naturally so. With such a magnetic personality, he was irreplaceable. <laughs> and I assure you, the church is still very much thriving. Looks kind of empty to me. Well, Goober's here. It's not really our peak hours. What's up with you handing out pamphlets at funerals, then? Trying to reel people in at a weak moment? I'm going to assume you meant no disrespect, child. Uh, I'm simply providing divine guidance when it's needed the most. Sure. Do you know who Franklin Goldfarb is? I'm afraid not, my child. It's that man right there. Just so you know, he's insane. Do you know anything about an art theft at the Wade Estate in the 80s? I have just a vague memory of reading about it in the paper. Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? I don't recognize that name, no. You're fucking helpful. Does the name Lily Myers mean anything to you? It does. I was a substitute teacher in her high school for some time before I was ordained. Really? Did you know her personally? We weren't close. I only knew her as much as a teacher would know any student. All right, so how did she seem toward the end? For one, she started skipping school a lot. And when she did show up, she was absent-minded and moody. <laughs> she always looked depressed and hunched down like she had a whole world on her shoulders. Any idea of what caused this change? Not a clue. All I know is that when she returned from that last summer break, she was a whole different person. All right. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather in 81? It was the work of the devil, I'll say that much. Uh, uh, Jesus. was a kind man. He did not deserve such a fate. Just go straight for it. my speech at the funeral, Kathy. I meant every word. He was a great man who did much good for this community. Did you know him personally? In a way. He and my father did charity work together. Joseph was around a lot when I was young. They collaborated on a few different projects for the homeless and for the troubled youth, among other things. So my grandfather was a member of the church? I wouldn't say that, no. He was a friend of the church, but he wasn't a religious man. He believed only in philanthropy. That being said, Joseph was the person who convinced me to become a priest. Really? Oh yes, I was a teenager back then. Full of rebellion. Every fiber of my being wanting to distance myself from my father. Joseph made me realize my sinful pride and showed me how I should follow my heart regardless of what others might think. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. Shut up, Div. All right, so I'm seeing a lot of the links here. 
with my grandfather, his dad, who was also, this was also supposed to be rumored a cult. The three things, the homeless people and the troubled youth. Lily was a troubled youth. Mr. Uh, Goober here is the homeless. Lovely. I could, but I'll keep it. Father, do you know anything about this flower? No, my child. Nothing at all. Liar. I don't need to sh Fucking liar. Do you recognize the man? Only your grandfather. And that's just because I was given a similar picture for the service the other day. Do you know what this key opens? I'm afraid not, my child. Yes, you do. Shut the fuck up, you liar. I don't need I'll tase you. I sincerely doubt it will come to that. You, you do? I sure as fuck don't. I could, but I'll keep it. All right, cool. Later, Isaac. That's all I need for now, Father. May the Lord shine his light on you. All right, cool. Uh. A striking resemblance, to say the least. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Hey, Goober. Hello again, Goober. You again? Are you stabbing <laughs> me, girl? You pop up everywhere I go. I'll try to tone down the charm, but I can't promise anything. Good to huh. know. Yeah, you're quite the charmer. I know. I just said that, man. Listen, I feel kind of bad about the electrocution. Oh, that's what it was. What a cherry on top of my stellar performance. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, pretty convincing. <laughs> so what brings Bushes. you to the house of God? Come to repent? I'm afraid that ship has long since sailed, buddy. I had a few things I wanted to ask you about, though. Shoot, Missy! Franklin Goldfarb? Your real name is Franklin Goldfarb, right? Oh, nobody calls me that. Uh. Regardless, I know for a fact that you were a witness to a burglary a few years back at the Wade Estate. Yeah, what about it? Why don't you tell me what you saw exactly? I heard the alarm go off, glass break, and then I saw three guys running away, carrying a bunch of stuff. What did they look like? It was dark. I don't know. They were definitely three big, bulky guys. They, uh... They what? Oh, nothing. That's it. Didn't see anything else. What? Bullshit. Spit it out. Well, one of those guys dropped his ring when running away. I sort of pawned it. Lovely. A ring? What kind of ring? Platinum with an inscription. Two letters. B... I didn't something. do it. Man, I don't remember. My photographic memory stopped working in 1979. How convenient. Which pawn shop was that? Pete's Pawning and Plumbing. It closed down a long time ago, though. Owner left town. There's a coffee shop back there now. Too bad. Lovely. Guess that's a dead end. Thanks anyway. I... Didn't I see two letters fitting that description recently? Not on a building. It was something small. Your... Zippo Did the letter. inscription on the ring look anything like this? Wow, actually exactly like that. Okay. Well, my last name does not start with an H, so I have an alibi. I didn't do this. I was also not born. or I was born then uh, in when this game came out. I was five. Or when this game came out, this game takes place. I was five. Uh, when the burglar happened, I wasn't alive. And uh, this is fictitious, so... I think I'm good to go. Any idea what BH stands for? He ain't Beehive. No snitch. Beehive. Eye, big head. <sighs> also, chat says bless you as well. <laughs> uh, should I tase him again? Yeah, that god old fast. <laughs> Brad Hines. Yep, I totally went there. Yes, you did, Kathy. Yes, you Do did. Do you know what this key opens? <laughs> I'm trigger happy. You're hot, mademoiselle? Oh, brother. <sighs> you also spelled my last name wrong. There's no S. Um, yeah, so I got an achievement for trying to cha to trying to ch tase uh, Goldfarb again. Goober. I already asked him about that. I should look into the ring with a B followed by another letter. H. Didn't I see two letters? Yes. Do you know anything about this flower? It's red. <sighs> oh, we already went through that. Do you know what? Chinese fireworks. These two. I missed yeah. time to. Okay. 
know anything about the art that uh nope nothing at all i tend to stay away from you know crime uh. i don't need to ask him about that uh 95 so you would not have been born i don't think Do you know who Lily Myers was? Yep, my dad was the one who found her floating in the lake. Oh. Really? What can you tell me about her? Ah, uh, geez, not a lot. I mean, teenage girls, man, they're like their own species. <laughs> it's impossible to figure out. Uh-huh. Not to mention how that entire family ain't, like, people-friendly. Yeah, I figured that one out. Now that's an understatement. Nearly started brawling with Sue the first time I met her. <laughs> she could sure deal out a mean whoop in that lady. <laughs> Do you know what happened to Joseph? I most certainly do. What? What? Tell me. Are you sure you want to know? Not everyone can handle the truth. Oh, Lord. Oh, just spit it out. Okay, here we go. Ready? Abducted by aliens. Ah, <sighs> I should have known better. Oh, I saw it, man. A big, huge light. I was a bit drunk at the time, but I had my reasons. Of course you were. My wife had just left me, taking the dog, not to mention I was being conscripted for the war. Yeah. But I'm telling you, those goddamn aliens took him and they experimented on him. And that's why he was so messed up when they put him back. Goddamn this chair. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to stop you there. Yep. Open your mind, man. <laughs> Goober's a conspiracy theorist. Uh, September 1995, I would have been four. I turned five. I tr my birthday's in November, so. Uh, most of the year, I'm actually a year behind. <laughs> the lights, man. Do you know what... Chinese I thought Chinese? maybe I thought maybe he would say something different. Okay, that's all for now. After recalling the lights. See ya. Yeah, he did see the lights. Okay. Can I, can I get the fuck back there? I want to go rooting around in the church. Locked. No. How about here? Locked. All right. No. Oh, well, we can we can take a Bible. I really shouldn't. They might burn. <laughs> All right, I guess not. Sure, then I guess that leaves us um, with the Myers residence and the nature reserve. Hey, look, there's the flower. Well, this is it. This is where the picture was taken. That too. I'm not sure what I expected to find here. Why is there... Mm -hmm. I need to clear my head. <laughs> Jesus, Snipe. You're gonna go with a priest touching joke man in the red. What the? We've met before, haven't we? You're the, you're, you're what that kid's drawing. All right, no, just, just, nope, just no. I'd remember a creepy bald dude like, with, with makeup. I doubt it. You look like you just escaped from a circus. That's not really my kind of gig. She's going to get high, man. Uh, I don't think so, Mr. Clean, unless seeing your face on a bottle of detergent counts. Nope, just no. I'd remember a creepy bald dude with makeup. Memories can deceive, Kathy. Dig deeper. Taysom! Who are you? How do you know my name? You oh, shit. Whoops. I feel strange. Am I dreaming? It's the mending I will try to facilitate. You're not real. I'm lying asleep in my bed right now. Focus, Kathy. Look, okay. Um, I sometimes can't spell. So, you know, the whole I... Uh, before E thing? Yeah. Whoopsies. He's gonna facilitate you. Jesus Christ. Listen to the drowned girl. You mean Lily? What Wait, about her? I, I changed that. Oh, I, I missed one. Listen to the drowned girl? Oh, lovely. It's T-Y-R. She's the anomaly, the missing refrain. What? The convergence point of things past and events yet to happen. 
Dial down the metaphors a notch, would you, Mr. Kafka? I get enough of that shit in English class. What the fuck? <laughs> I knew you wouldn't disappoint. I'm glad, given how much trouble I went through to be here. The fuck? You see, my name was taken from me, so I claimed a color in its stead. The next time we meet, you'll know the exact hue of red. You're on the right path, Kathy. Follow your grandfather, and everything will work out in the end. Excuse the fuck out of me. What? Wait, what? How did I get here? Am I going crazy? Am I turning into mom? Excuse the ever-living fuck out of me. What? Grandma, you will not believe what oh, I just saw. Hello, dear. You will not believe what I just saw. What the talk for a bit, fuck Grandma? was that? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? Do you recognize the acronym BH? It's on Dad's lighter. <laughs> yes, dear. It means the Black Hats. They're those ruffians on motorcycles whom your father is associated with. Oh, his biker gang. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she really was getting high in the forest. What can you tell me about the Black Hats? I refuse to talk about those hoodlums. They turned your father into a horrible person. You should stay far away from them, Kathy. They're awful people. Just awful. All right, Grandma Hi, don't Grandma. want nothing to do later. with that. So long. She goes from super fucking pissed to, bye, dear. <laughs> Grandma has a switch, and we've flipped it a couple times now. She goes fucking crazy. All right, so is there anything else up here that I might have missed? A worn office chair on wheels. I'm feeling a sudden urge to do a race. Oh, goddamn this chair. Speaking of my chair, or speaking of chairs. So maybe the... Uh, is there nothing I okay, I'm just double checking. I have no clue. Just some old various books and I I an guess old typewriter Alright, I guess nothing. Mr. Bear We already did Good this. Idea. We already <laughs> She's not searching for anything. We've already been through here. I just was double checking just to be safe, because that was really weird that we got sent back here. Okay. Should we even bother going back? Ha! <laughs> that sounds like a good idea, Brock. I haven't tried the double chalupa, but I would get mine with steak if I could. Okay, look. Some crazy shit has happened. Oh, it's you again. Come on in. We need to talk. I thought you just come on in and shut the door in my face. Hey, where where'd your son go? No Nathan today? Nah, haven't seen Nate all day. Probably out in the woods. Lily me. The left half is torn off. Okay. Is that all? Okay, look, Sue, we gotta talk. I had a, a few more questions, Sue. She... I don't need to ask. Did you know that somebody stole Lily's paintings from Wade? Huh? I, I knew he got robbed a few years back, but I, I thought he still had them all. I don't need to ask. I don't need to ask. Fuck, why did I come here then? Sue, what do you see in this picture? My god. That looks like one of Lily's paintings. Wow, really? Can you describe it? Lily painted these. It was a nighttime scene, just like the photo, but the lights were floating above the lake. There was a pale hand reaching up from beneath the surface trying to touch them. The forest in the background was on fire, making the sky purple and red. There were probably other details too, but that's what I can remember. Sounds captivating. Wish I could have seen it. Okay. Also, doing this reminded me that uh, no one's donated 69 bits in a while, so I haven't seen the thing. I need to make it 
I wonder if I can do a wild, like an asterisk.69, so anything that ends in 69 for donations or like super chat for YouTube would also trigger it. That'd be interesting. Anyways, holy crap. Do you crap. know anything about this flower? Sure. Smoked it a few times back in the day before it was endangered and all. Great snipe. Yeah. What was it like? Similar to pot, but stronger and more unpredictable. Never touched this stuff after I got pregnant with Lily. All right. Sue, Sue, Sue did a couple things. Did you know that somebody stole? Huh. I Do you know what this key opens? Well, that's a bit of a weird question, ain't it? But no. Yes, it is weird. All right. It was fun the last. Thank you, I Sue. I think I'm gonna head off now. Sure thing, little cat. Come back anytime. <laughs> that's what I'm leaning towards. Yes. I didn't know the, um, I didn't know it was an endangered, uh, plant. That makes a big bit of a difference. All right. So I guess we try going back to the nature reserve. Fuck if I know. Oh no. Hello? What does that look like guys? Creepy bald guy. Guess no one's home. Oh no. What's this? Oh no. Why did someone leave this at the nature reserve? Oh no. Nathan. Buddy. Oh. Let's just take the, the endangered flower. It's endangered. I'm not going to take it without a really good reason. Well, we need to get high at some point, right? I think that's what this is all leading towards. We need to get high to see the red man. All right, Sue, I'm coming back. Uh, I got a really good reason for it, though. So he did say he saw the red man, and Sue said that, that him and Lily had always talked about this red man. But he's drawing about it now. And his rip painting was in the forest where the red man was. Oh, it's you. <laughs> I gotta slam the door in your face before I let you in. Sorry. God damn it. No, Nathan. What'd you get yourself into, buddy? Oh, no. Looks like Nathan knows the strange red man. I need to talk to him about this. Oh, man. So do I not take the whole paint? I don't take the whole drawing with me. Okay. Sue, we got some, you got some splaining to do. She. Do you know who the red man is? Oh, that's just Nate's imaginary friend. No. The red man has been around ever since my boy was little. No. I see. So there's no actual person in town he could be referring to? Totally real. <laughs> no way. According to Nathan, the red man hasn't changed in 30 years. The red man actually exists. I met him in the forest. What? <laughs> that's crazy talk. Stop kidding around. I am not in the mood. I think I'm gonna head off. Sure thing, Lily. Okay, well, later. It's an early painting by Lily. Oh, all right. So now I'm totally lost. Now I have nowhere to, I have no clue what to do. Well, okay, let's, let's swing by, let's swing by the church. Maybe Isaac has something to say. I doubt Goober's got anything to say. That's at least in, I like to say interesting. I don't think Goober has anything that he's going to want to say that's going to point us in the right direction, but it'll probably be interesting. It's an altar. You know, the place where they put the sacrificed goats, kids, and other crap. All right. Hello, Isaac. I've got a few. I'm all here. What do you know about the black hats? Only that they aren't the menace everyone makes them out to be. Some of them have come to me in confidence, wanting to change. Some did in the end. Some didn't. I believe that the greatest gift of all is being able to reveal the inner goodness we are all capable of. 
Your father was one of those men wanted to change. As I am bound by the seal of confession, I cannot divulge much, even to you. But I will say this. He was terribly torn and felt like the whole world was conspiring against him. I'm sure he had great reasons for abandoning a six-year-old. You're making excuses for a monster. Uh, I am unable to say more, but I hope you will find it in your heart to forgive him one day. I have a good memory. Don't get your hopes up. I'm okay. Grateful. Hate devours and controls us all. Only by turning away from it can we ever be free. Hmm. This may sound strange, but have you heard of or seen a strange man dressed in red? Only our Lord and Savior Jesus. Surely his rags were drenched in blood as he lay upon the cross. Oh, lovely! That's not what I meant. Uh, I mean someone here in Conwell Springs. Are you joking? I haven't seen a person like that, no. <laughs> Isaac is... That's all I need for now, Father. Fucking the Isaac Lord knows more. Light on you. So he does have a little Timmy in the back. Uh, Hi, Goober. Mind if we talk? Shoot! All right, Goober. I don't need to ask. I don't need to ask. Really? Okay. All right, cool. See ya! And I wanted to see if Goober had anything funny to say. I guess not. Also, this game is giving me the itch to play Thimbleweed Park. Fuck, I would love to play that. All right. Uh, all right, Grandma. Ooh, we're back up to seven people. We're up and down today, so... If I get back up to 10, my goal of 20 doesn't look like it's going to happen. But if I get back up to at least 10, I'll be oh, happy. Oh, hello, dear. Hey, Grandma. Oh, she's watching TV. Mind if we talk for a bit? Not at all. I didn't even realize. I don't see a reason. All right, cool. See Never mind. Rabbit. Take care. Oh, fuck with those rabbit ears. All right, so... <laughs> Who in the hell do we go to now? Oh, 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 oh. Let's call our roommate. We haven't done that. Let's call our dorm mate back at campus. Nah, I don't need to call E right now. We'll catch up tonight. All right, sure. Never mind. Fuck Eileen then. Let's not keep her in the loop. We had a drug trip. All that good stuff. She is a woman of Christ, so she might not like that. <laughs> Again? Back to the forest though? I mean, the police, maybe, about the red man? No? There's nothing here. <laughs> yes, Snipe, that's what we're going, that's what they're, that's what they were going for, yeah. She's fucking immortal. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? You want to be cringy again? What can you tell me about the Black Hats? They've caused us trouble from time to time, but they've been kind of quiet lately. We put a few of their captains in the slammer over the years, but we never managed to find enough dirt on their leader. Bo Brunson. Big Bo. Do you know where I can find them? Yeah, hold on. Let me just find a map. Got it. Thanks. Lenny's a fucking... Dumbass! He is literally the worst cop ever. He's led us into that back room how many times? He fell for the same trick several times for Goober needing to throw up. We snuck back there, stole a bunch of information, and now he just tells us where a dangerous gang is. The fuck is wrong with Lenny? Do you know anything about a weird bald guy dressed in red around here? You're joking, right? Oh, never mind. Well, Thanks, Lenny. Go. See ya. God fucking damn, Lenny.